Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create reverse reverb in Reaper. Now the idea of reverse reverb is to create a sound that kind of sucks in or goes from low to high into the intro of the next sound. For instance, I have an acoustic guitar right here. Normal reverb would happen at the end and be loud over here and then fade out. But if we reverse the reverb, it'll come before the sound and kind of suck in or go from low to high to create a dramatic effect. So let me show you how to do it in Reaper. Let's hear the acoustic guitar. So I want that effect at the beginning and also at bar three. But because it repeats, we can just copy and paste the effect when we're done. So to set this up, we'll first duplicate the track. We'll right click right here, go to duplicate tracks, and now we have two. So we'll solo this one, then we're going to reverse this audio file. So I'll right click, go to item settings, and reverse the active take. So now it plays backwards. Let's drag it over to here. Doesn't need to be perfect somewhere around here. And now let's hear it. Like I said, it's backwards. Now we only need the end section over here because the reverb is going to be triggered just by the first note. We don't need the whole thing because that'll sound confusing. So let's split it right around here. Hit S. Delete this part. And let's add reverb to the whole thing. Go to the effects. Now it doesn't matter what reverb we choose. Just about any of them will work. I know some of them have a reverse option, but that's not necessary. Any good reverb will work. So let's use the Reaper one right over here called Reverbate. Double click it. So let's make it bigger so it extends a lot longer. And let's bring down the dampening so it'll still be pretty bright. And let's hear it. Let's bring down the dry sound because we don't need that. And let's hear it now. That looks good. But we can get rid of even more of the audio and then we'll fade it in right about there. That should work. So now we'll right click on the track, go down here to render, and we'll choose either render tracks to mono, stereo, or multi-channel. I'm gonna use stereo. That's gonna create a new track with that effect rendered to it. Perfect. So I can delete this one. Then we need to reverse the actual reverb. So again, we'll right click it, go to item settings, reverse active take. And here's the reverse reverb. So what I do now is line up the loudest section of the reverb, which is right around here, and line it up with the beginning of the acoustic guitar. That usually sounds the best. Now let's hear what it sounds like with both of them playing. That's a bit too long, so let's split it right here. Delete this one. We could fade it in right here. Now the section over here kind of clouds it up a bit. If you like that, you can leave it. 
But what I prefer to do is just split it and delete this part. This way it's completely dry right over here. Then we can duplicate it, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and put the other one right over here. It creates a nice dramatic effect, as the first note is fading in to the start of the part. Let's try the same thing with a vocal. I have a vocal track right here, and it plays twice. And we can do the same thing with vocals. Let's right click it, duplicate the track, let's solo it, let's delete the second one. Let's reverse the first one, item settings, reverse active take, and now it's backwards. Once again, we'll split it, delete this piece, fade it in, and add some reverb to this one. This time I'm going to use one of my favorite reverbs called Redline Reverb. And it sounds like this. Let's bring up the length. Also make it brighter right here. and change the mix to be fully wet. That should work. Right click, render freeze tracks, render the tracks to stereo. And that created the reverb, so we could delete this one. And that printed our reverb, but we need to reverse the reverb, right click, item settings, reverse active take. And let's move it over here. Again, start with the loudest section, which is right here, and line it up with the beginning of a vocal. So it sounds like this. Once again, let's split the beginning, delete that, create a fade up to here. And we could delete this section here. So it's completely dry on the vocal. And it sounds good. We could duplicate it over to here. And just like that, we created a reverse reverb effect. And we can readjust it with a different fade curve. Just right click over here, maybe choose this one, make it a bit louder. Do the same with this one. Gonna make it a little smoother right here. That's better. And just like that, we created reverse reverb.
It's a great effect to use on vocals, guitars, even piano, or a full mix. It creates a real dramatic effect, as you can hear the sound coming in before it actually does. So that's pretty much it. That's reverse reverb in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.